Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna review another knife that I really like. Uh, this is another PSRK and that's a clone of Benchmade. I'm not sure which Benchmade. Um, it's clone because it's not a copy again. So PSRK, this is a company which is doing, I mean, they, they steal the design of uh, big, big US companies and they do nice knife at very good quality at affordable price. So. Let, let's look at what we got. We got that very, uh, that's a kind of Mora uh, knife. So it's a Scandi, Scandi grind knife, uh, bushcraft knife, definitely. Very comfortable in hand. I mean, nice grip. Uh, that's a bit soft material. I'm not sure what it is exactly as material, but it's a bit soft. It's between the G10 and the something soft. You can see this is full tank because the handle is going until here. So. And they just, I mean, I don't know they have done that, but they melt the the, um, the handle uh, in the knife, in the knife. They melt the yeah, yeah that stuff in the in the handle. So pretty pretty well made. Uh, you can see here, pretty solid construction actually. And what is really particular on that knife? This is that this is a S thirty five VN. So again, they have they have several versions. So that version was the most uh, expensive, let's say the high-end version of PSIK. They have another one, which I believe is in 14C28N still, as they do usually. But this one is different because this one, you have the S35VN steel, and you can see this is a 3G steel, which means you have one layer of S35VN in the middle that you can clearly see here, and you can clearly see it here. And on the side, the two layer of uh, steel are 440C steel or 440, I, I don't remember. But this is not a big issue because the one in the middle, this is that all the edge and cutting part is in S35VN. This is what you expect. You have a very good uh, edge. And on the side, you don't need to get a super expensive knife because you don't really use the side. The side of the knife, this is more because you want it to be solid and you want a minimum thickness. Because if they have done a knife with like one millimeter thickness, just like you're gonna destroy it. So the fact that they melted it and they have done that that system, I think it's pretty smart because at the end, you don't need super expensive knife on the side. You need like um, stainless steel on the side and in the middle and you protect it. So that's good. And in the middle, you get a very, very nice S35 VN, super sharp, super steel. So, I mean, that, that, that's, that's a good system. And, at the, and you get a nice price. You can contain the price and you can you can get a better price that if you had to put full S35 VN at the end because you just put a small layer of expensive material, two layer of cheap materials which which are doing the job, and and at the end I think you end up with that knife below one hundred dollar. I'm not sure cost how much cost the bench made bench made, but this one is is it's very good and honestly it's cutting super well, super comfortable in hand. Nothing to say. I mean, I really like that stuff. Um, the sheath. You can see. It's not going to fall. Honestly, that's super well made. Again, very nice sheath. Good Kydex. I'm PSRK. I, I, I love more and more and more that bone. That's a really good bone. Uh, and you have a lanyard hole here. So, whatever. Let's look at the spec. Really, really nice. Uh, really good surprise. I, I saw it for a while and I was like, nah. Does it looks good? And, and finally, when you get it in hand, you know, it's simple design. I mean, it's not fancy when you look at the stuff, but when you get it in hand, I mean, you are like, yeah, that's a, that's a nice, that's a nice one. Huh? So 12.5 centimeters cutting uh, edge, uh, 13 to the under, 24.2 overall size. The thickness of that one, four millimeters thickness. Uh, you see, exactly four. So, yeah. And the weight, let me check the weight. So, yeah, I really like that stuff. 169 grams, and with the sheath, 214. So, that, that, that's, that's still a big, uh, a big blade. I mean, for the size of the knife, I like the fact that they have a small handle and a pretty decent uh, blade. And with that kind of blade, you can do plenty of stuff. Honestly, that, that, that's sufficient. It's not too big. You can put that in a backpack. Uh, if you compare to a small knife, no, let's look at this one. 
So this one is a small knife. It's, it's difficult to do a lot of stuff and you put that in the backpack, you can do limited tasks with that. But that stuff, it's very decent. Honestly, in, in the backpack, you can do everything you need for the day. There is no, there is no, yeah. so that's really a good knife. And honestly, I highly recommend. I'm not sure if they still have that version, which is uh, in s 35 vn but I think it is super smart at the end. And yeah, for the customers and the clients, it is super good. You get a very decent steel, but for cheap because they put a 3G steel. And this is quite technical to do also. And this is good looking. We forgot to say, but look, this is also good looking, no? What do you think? I mean, small Damascus or 2G like that. I, I like it. Honestly, I like it. That's all for today. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.